Hey, what's going on guys? So the lead protagonist Gundam from the new series, The Witch from Mercury, is here with the Gundam Ariel. It's an awesome little HG kit. Let's go ahead and get right into it for today's review. Alright guys, so we'll start off taking a look at the box art here once again, beautiful box art, and that is going to be, I guess, a theme with this series, just this really nice box art style. I really like it. What do you guys think about the box art style for the Witch from Mercury series? The Gundam itself looking very cool, definitely not the proportions that we're going to see with the kit itself, but I do think that it looks really great here for the box art on the front. Over here on the side of the box, you can see this is number 03 in the line, and on the bottom of the box here, some images of the kit itself there, all painted and panel lined up and everything. No decals or anything here on the bottom, but there's a look at those pre-molded parts like we saw with the Lifrith Gundam HG kit. So those were really cool. Those will look great. And there's the shield, which will separate, of course, into all the Gundam bits, and you can mount those around on the Gundam, so that will be really fun. Here's an image of how the kit is going to look, just completely unpainted, just snap built straight out of the box, as we'll see it here in just a moment once we get through the unboxing portion. But here on the other side, front and back view of the kit. Over here, the pilot, Soleta Mercury. A little bit about the story there and with that we can pop open the box now as you guys can see not a very thick box by any means so it's just gonna be a uh, you know your standard kind of thinner HG box but a fair amount of stuff packed in here you got three full-size runners basically there and some other little bits we'll take a look at all the runners here in just a moment just taking a look at the manual here beautiful just art and design style here for this series looks very nice. On the back side, some information and images, uh, including line art of the Gundam and information in Japanese and in English about the beam rifle, the Escuchan shield, the bit on form, the color guide is over here. Once again, the color guide is down the side of the manual, so that's something a little bit different with these as well. Beam saber, shell unit, which is there on the front of the chest. Opening it up here, our parts list is in color, and the first page of construction is in color. The rest of this is just going to be all in black and white, I guess aside from like the little blue bits here and there. That's the rest of the construction there. It shows you like where to place the gun bits around on the kit. And I think that's going to be about it. Let's go ahead and check out the runners. Alright, so first up, here's a look at the foil sticker sheet. And as you can see, there's a fair amount of stuff on here, mostly for eyes, cameras. These are like some mirror stickers that are going to go underneath your clear parts. So nothing too bad. Just a, color, a couple of small color correcting stickers over here and a reminder that these stickers are going to be those ones that have printing on the underside like that that you can use with your clear parts which as we saw with the Lifrith didn't look quite as nice as using like the pre-colored molded clear part. Here's the A runner which is in four colors. You got your yellow, blue, red standard Gundam colors there and then some like a clear gray up there for the clear parts. All of our white armor pieces are going to be here on the B1 and B2 runners there. All the rest of our gray parts for the weapons and joints and things like that are going to be here on runner C. Runner D is one little green part here for the eyes that looks really nice. And runner E is in clear blue for our beam saber effect parts and the large beam effect part there for out the gun. And lastly, runner F here in clear ABS is going to be those parts there for the chest. Compared to using the clear parts with stickers, these definitely look better from my experience with the Lifrith, but we'll take a look at that again in the review coming up right now. All right guys, so here is the kit and all built up. It looks fantastic. The actual building process was very familiar if you've built the Lifrith already. So if you already built that, I mean, you should have a pretty good idea. But it's still quite interesting, quite different the way that this kit goes together, especially in certain areas like in the arms, the legs. If you've built a lot of high grades, you're pretty familiar with how they go together. But this one does have some pretty unique construction aspects. But let's go ahead and get into it, taking a look at some of these details here. So I did use the in-molded parts here for the chest. You do have the plain clear parts and the stickers that go up underneath them or the their stickers for this to be displayed as like inactive where they're just basically just like dark black stickers that go underneath there so that's an option for you but these definitely look the best over here on the shoulders that's stickers on the top of the shoulders it's actually three stickers it's not one that wraps around it's one for the top and then one for each of the sides the front and back side kind of interesting around here on the back there's that clear part with a sticker up underneath that so if you see like how dim how kind of how dark it is to see the orange and yellow striping underneath that's how the front looks if you use the stickers and those clear parts same thing here on the front of the thigh you can kind of see that a little bit and actually same thing for the head as well there's a sticker up underneath that and you can just kind of see that depending on how it's catching the light just like with the Lifrith, you have a couple of stickers here in the torso as well those look pretty nice and then we have stickers for the eyes. Now the eyes are an actual green part, so you could just use that, but I went ahead and threw those stickers on there just because uh, I thought that those would catch the light nicer, those would look a little bit nicer. Here in the back of the head as well, that green part actually does feed up through to there. 
but I went ahead and threw that sticker on just for the video. That said, you do have versions of the head stickers in red as well for the eyes and the camera on the back of the head. You can make those in red if you prefer. But yeah, overall the construction is quite nice. Very simple in terms of just like the number of parts and how the parts go together, but it does a very effective job of breaking up the colors. You have a gray, yellow bits here, yellow and bit gray bits, you know, sticking out here at the back as well. Nice color separation here on the feet. We'll start off our articulation here from the feet since we're here and do it kind of opposite from normal. Those will point all the way down to there, very nice, all the way up to about there. And you do have some toe bend here, a little bit up and down, not too much up underneath the feet. It's kind of half detailed. You do have a couple little hollow gaps in there, not too bad. This front piece of ankle armor is on a small little ball joint, but it's not really going to move all that much necessarily. Our little front skirts here will move up and down. These little side skirts, which are just kind of on top of the thigh section here, those will also move up and down a little bit. Nothing here at the back, but you can see there's a hard point that you could use for plugging the action base onto there or plugging the action base onto there. Alternatively, this one here at the back skirt is for plugging in this adapter piece, which you can use to plug in your rifle into there like so. More on that in a second. You can bring the legs up pretty far, nice and far into there. Nice double joint here at the knee to give you a full 180 degree bend there. Again, just nice uh, separation just between these parts. Like these parts right here and then this part right here don't move, but they just, the way that they look, it just looks kind of like they're, they're separated. They're separating with the knee, even though they're not moving parts at all. They do kind of give that illusion. So it looks pretty cool there at the knee. Here in the stomach section, you do have a little bit of a forward ab crunch there like that. You can bend that a little bit side to side here as well and then your rotation is going to be there at the base of the torso the shoulder armor will move up and down you can bring the arm up pretty much all the way up there like that so that's very nice rotation here at the top of the arm a single joint there at the elbow and that's going to give you a little bit more than 90 degrees but not any more of a bend than that one of the very few seam lines on this kit is going to be right here on the shoulder this little part at the bottom of the shoulder you have a little seam right there the wrist of course is just on a ball joint and these holding hands are our only included hands here with this kit. The shoulder joint here in the torso will kind of swing out forward and back a little bit like that. Real quick around here on the backpack, nothing moves here. These beam saber mounts don't move at all. So those are all just fixed in place there. Lastly then just the head will point up to about there. Not too bad upward mobility for that. Down very far all the way down to there. And then of course your rotation and everything there for the head. For our accessories, here's another look just real quick at the rifle. You have a little gray sticker here for the kind of camera on that. Pretty simple and you, as you can see just from before, you can mount this to the left or the right side. You can mount that onto the back skirt there. Just fits into the hand pretty easily. You will have a bit of a seam line here on the weapon as well, but that's pretty standard. We've got our beam effect here for that, for using that as a melee weapon. as the large beam out of there. And then our couple of clear blue beam saber effect parts for the beam saber handles stored up in the backpack. And then of course we have the Escuchion shield. There are a couple of stickers used here. So a blue bit right there in the center, that's a sticker. And then up here at the top, those white parts on the side of that center section, those are also a couple of stickers there. Interestingly, no black stickers to go in the center of those yellow parts, but it's very cool. Just plugs onto the side of the arm quite simply there. So no like moving parts or anything here with this. But of course it does separate into the different sections, basically 11 different sections that can be plugged around on different parts of the kit and also these parts will plug onto the rifle to give you your bit on form and we'll take a look at that here in just a second. But yeah guys, gotta say, the kit is really nice. It really does feel like kind of a perfection of what Bandai's been doing with a lot of these really kind of a bit more simple in their construction type high grade kits. And also the entry grade line, the 30 minutes missions line, how they've been utilizing different uh, aspects of how the kits go together, how the kits are constructed, so that they can make them basically as uh, simple and easy as possible, but maximizing the results. So typically in the past for like a design that's somewhat like visually as complex as it is, and it does have all the articulation to, you know, be able to do all sorts of different cool poses, but the actual parts, the actual construction of it is quite simple. So like, like I said, it's something that they've been doing for a while, and I think it's something that I think that they're really mastering here with a kit like this. And as for the gum bits as a gimmick for this, I gotta say, that's also quite cool quite interesting you know they always try to involve different sort of gimmicks with their new Gundam series and things like that like with the unicorn for example it was the unicorn's ability to transform so as a new gimmick for this lead Gundam for this new Gundam series I think it's pretty cool it's a pretty interesting gimmick I like the bits as a shield I think they do also look better on the Gundam uh, than like with the Lefrith with the parts just mounted on the backpack of the Lefrith I thought it looked kind of okay but it does make sense I guess like in the story canon that that design feel a bit more like a prototype in this design 
design feel a bit more like and kind of a bit more of a finished refined design where all the gun bits rather than just storing up on like a rack on the Gundam's backpack that they plug around onto the diff different parts of the Gundam to make it kind of a bit more cohesive. So I'm definitely happy with this kit but let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about it? What do you think about the series now that we're a couple episodes in? What are your thoughts? Go ahead and share those in the comment section down below and if you guys are interested in any of these kits of course you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. You can go there, uh, pre-order any of the upcoming kits. There's a lot of them on the way so you guys can check all that out. As always, thank you so much for the support. Thanks for checking out the video. If you guys would also like to like and or subscribe that would be greatly appreciated but until next time guys hope you're all having a great day i'll see y'all later bye bye